that truth, which I hadn't done all this time. I've dabbled in it a little bit, but I hadn't told the most recent part of that. Being involved in a marriage that almost killed me, literally almost killed me. And I remember during that time in my life, it was like a seven year situation, and during that time in my life, I would open my computer and I would just be online, I'd see something, and it would be like, Corinne is seeing so-and-so, and I'm married at home with a busted lip, and someone just sat down and made up a bunch of shit that never happened. And there's a list of all these men that I had sex with that I never met. Even women, some of the men were dead. Like, Big Pun was on the list, and I'm just like, but he's dead! <laughs> <laughs> and I couldn't do anything about it because I was stuck in this this terrible, I was fighting for my life inside my house. And that same media you talk about was, they were making, like literally making, making up shit. People I'd never met. And I couldn't say anything and I couldn't fight because I was just too busy trying to literally fight for my life in my home. So I wanted to write this book to explain how stupid your judgments and what you think is, you're always wrong. Especially about me, you're always wrong. And that the truth is actually more devastating than the lies and the gossip. It's way more devastating, way more devastating than that. I was going through real life while everyone was making up bullshit. So I wanted to discuss that and vindicate it, did that. It's available, yes sir? So create space. CreateSpace.com, owned by Amazon, been around a long time. I learned about it back in 2006. A friend of mine, Kurt Beagler, works for Amazon in Hong Kong, told me about it. Great site. I um, one of the books I wrote, How to Make Love to a Martian, is on there. They put it up on Kindle for me. It's also on KDP, um, which is Kindle's website. Um, cost nothing. What they do is that every time someone buys it, they take a small cut. So you can, you, can, you can be a published author for free. You don't need a publisher anymore. It's 2015. I'm an NYT best-selling author. I don't even want a publisher. They're not even worth it. I don't need it. Um, so you don't have to, you don't need anyone else to become a published author anymore. So create space is one. Yes? In regards to create space, do, do, does your work come owned by Amazon? No, your work is yours. So what you're going to do, like you always, like just look at any book. Okay? Use any book as a template. You're going to have your copyright page. You're going to um, buy your ISBN number. You can buy it from them. I, I would not. I would get it from where we get ISBN numbers, which is, you can Google it, but there's, there's, a, um, there's a, only one place where we get ISBN numbers. If you buy your ISBN number, which is the number on the back of the book um, by your barcode, if you buy that through Amazon, they're just going to go through the main channel, and then you're kind of tied into Amazon. So what I like to do is to go, you can Google where to get an ISBN number, I can't remember the website, um, but there's one main site. You go there, you buy your ISBN, and you put that in to Amazon. Don't buy it through them. You buy it through them, you're tied into them, right? Um, that's how Create Space works. You can use any book as a template, so once you get your ISBN number, then just copy what other people do. You know, little statements, or you can make your own publishing company. There's so many ways you can do this. For publishing companies, I would go through, I love um, LegalZoom to create corporations. You can do it fairly cheaply. Um, definitely better than using an attorney who will charge you about $250 an hour. You can do it for 100 bucks. You can take your Christmas money and get yourself a corporation. Um, call yourself a publishing company if you want. Um, you, or you could not do it. You just do it on your person. Um, then you go to create space, you upload your work, make sure you write, edit, take your time, which is no misspellings. You can upload PDFs. Create space takes PDFs, um, very simple. If you don't know whether you're doing it correctly, you can actually pay them $99. Again, you know, if you add it, um, and they can do it for you. And they, 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 they um, make sure it's right and all your margins are fine and you know, whatever. So for fairly little money, you can have help with it. For zero money, you can do it yourself. Yes, sir. Would you say your concept was to do concept between a 
Yeah, so all of my social media is Corinne and Co. Corinne and Co. CO stands for Corinne and Company, which is the name of one of my companies. Are there any questions left? Yes, sir. All right, so you talked about earlier uh, the importance of having ownership of, of your culture, kind of the, the whole concept of knowledge itself. Do you think within the black community there's so much uh, shaming of the black woman because there's a lack of knowledge of self as well as self-hate that it's like deep rooted? Absolutely. Absolutely. It, it's so deeply rooted, it's almost impossible to dig ourselves out of it. And it takes radical voices and it takes radical change. And this is why I feel like it's important for people to tell their individual stories because that's going to help everyone else tell theirs and hopefully dig us out of that long-standing culture of shame, silence, and the idea, like I said, we've all heard the stories where slaves were not allowed to tell, to talk to each other. They weren't allowed to use their own language. They weren't allowed to have their own religion. They were taught Christianity, like all these things to separate and divide us. The black family was instantly divided. The husband and the wife were not allowed to stay together. And you were paired with people based on genetics. You can make better slaves. And all these things started happening. And so now all these years later, they're still happening. The black family is still broken. We're still not communicating in general. We're still not sharing stories in general. And then the people who do, especially the women, are, are demonized for it. And we got to get the women to start talking. We have all the, we have everything. We take care of everybody. We, we're the center. It's like, think about your mom. Think about your moms and how many things you've told her and all the times you've cried to her and, and all the people who have. Sometimes your friends will go to your mom to tell your mom, was, you know, we have, we, like, the women, I remember my grandmother, how much just hugging her and crying to her means to me. And, um, and my friends who do the same thing and will go to, I'm, I'm going to talk to your grandma. The women, everyone centers around the women and the food and the music and the things that they have. And, and we tell them all these things. You can't silence those women. You can't tell them not to tell their stories because their story is your story. It's all of our stories. But it is, it does start from that deep root of shame. From that post-slavery residue, I believe. Is that it? Thank you guys so much.